He knows he cannot afford to run for president. He simply isn't rich enough. He doesn't have a billion dollars that it would take to blow on a Trump presidential campaign. Trump derangement syndrome. Now, you may have noticed that I have not yet included Donald Trump in our coverage of the Republican presidential campaign this season, and that is because he is obviously never going to be president, he is obviously never going to be the Republican nominee for president, and he is obviously never going to be a candidate for president. I am officially running for president of the United States. The president-elect of the United States of America, Donald Trump. Sorry to keep you waiting. Complicated business. Complicated. I want people to be free to practice sodomy or even perfect sodomy, but I can live without sodomy. Empty out the goddamn control room and find out where this is going on. It's either there or there, or out there somewhere. Uh, it, it, all the indicators, all the political arithmetic, everything we see. Said says, Hillary was going to be president. Said, no, but this is, well, no, it didn't. No, it yeah. didn't, because the, well, Hillary was always polling within the margin of error against Donald Trump. She was always polling within that margin. She never cleared a lead over him that was outside of the margin of error. And she never cleared a lead over him. We have one final Electoral College projection for you. This one from Larry Sabato. Uh, what's your final tally? Our projection is that Hillary Clinton will get 322 electoral votes and Donald Trump will get 216. Hillary was always polling within the margin of error. Hillary Clinton is extending her lead over Donald Trump in several national polls. CNN is releasing a brand new poll of polls, which is an average of the six last surveys. And it shows Donald Trump trailing Hillary Clinton by 10 points. Donald Trump's very bad week has helped push Hillary Clinton into a sizable lead in many polls, including a Washington Post ABC News poll out this morning showing her ahead of Trump 50 to 42 percent. We've been talking about Hillary Clinton opening up that lead. Enthusiasm for her is also growing. A new ABC News national poll of likely voters shows Clinton leading Trump by 12 points. Yeah, I, my expectation is on election day this is going to be about a five or a six point race. The polls are never telling you a specific number. They're telling you a band of possibility. When should they call a lie a lie? I have said that Donald is not a billionaire, but he valiantly tries to play one on a reality TV show, and he does that for a paycheck which he desperately needs to survive financially. Not all lies are created equal. You see, sodomy in the eyes of the law includes stuff that maybe you can't live without. The violence in Charlottesville was universally and unequivocally, unequivocally condemned by politicians in both parties, except for one, Donald Trump. And I'm not talking about the neo-Nazis and the white nationalists, because they should be condemned totally. Unequivocally condemned by politicians in both parties, except for one. Donald Trump. We condemn in the strongest possible terms this egregious display of hatred, bigotry, and violence. As I said on Saturday, we condemn in the strongest possible terms this egregious display of hatred, bigotry, and violence. Real billionaires, none of whom have the time to hang with Donald Trump, do not work as cast members in NBC primetime entertainment shows, which of course is how Donald actually makes his living. His fake campaign will be over by May 16th when NBC announces Trump's position in next season's primetime schedule. Since attacking Bill Cosby, one of the most popular figures in the history of television, Trump's ratings have collapsed for his show. If the downward trend continues, sometime before May 16th, Bob Greenblatt, the head of NBC Entertainment, may have the exquisite pleasure of being the first person ever to say, Donald Trump, you're fired which unfortunately for Trump will leave him with no excuse not to run for president, except the truth that he is an ignoramus about government and could not afford to pay for a presidential campaign.
America's biggest loser, Donald Trump, did a promotional appearance today for his TV series in which he pretends to fire people for your entertainment. Every single word that Donald Trump says publicly, every word, is designed to get attention to him so that he can pump up the ratings of his TV show because unlike Mitt Romney, Donald Trump still has to work for a living. And he so desperately needs the couple of million dollars that he makes on TV that he must spend his life promoting his show. As recently as last week, the lying vulgarian was still lying about the possibility that he would actually run for president. Well, a lot of people want me to run. I mean, I'm getting it all the time. You saw the poll that came out recently where it said I was the number one independent candidate. I am concerned if I run as an independent that I'll take a lot of votes away from the Republicans and Obama will walk in. So I, that does concern me a lot. But of course, as I've always told you, there has never been a possibility, not a shred of possibility, that Donald Trump would run for president. Donald Trump is actually much more self-aware than he appears to be. He knows, he knows that he's not smart enough to run for president. He knows that he doesn't have the courage to run for president. And it doesn't take a great deal of courage, but he knows he doesn't have that much. And most importantly, he knows he cannot afford to run for president. He simply isn't rich enough. He doesn't have a billion dollars that it would take to blow on a Trump presidential campaign in which he knows he would lose. President Trump may be something that everybody needs to get used to, including the Republican Party. And I think we all thought it couldn't happen that he couldn't do this on the power of white voters alone, that he couldn't do what he did, and guess what? He may just do it. Do it. You can do it! Let's do it, let's do it. You can do it! You can do it all night long! <laughs> Donald Trump started tweeting me, which has given me the opportunity more than once now to ask him, to beg him, to tell me one thing, one thing I have said about him this year that is not true. One thing. I have said Donald lied about pretending to run for president. He did it convincingly enough to fool many of our major league pundits, but I said that the presidential campaign stuff was all a lie from the start, every day of it. And Donald has no argument with me now over that one. One thing. Trump knows that when he announces he is not running for president, the news media will disappear from his doorstep. Trump needs media attention the way the rest of us need air to breathe. He will obviously say and do anything to get media attention. He always has and always will. Being the star of an NBC fake reality show is not enough attention for Donald Trump. But that's all he will be the day he announces he's not running for president. He will be forced to retake his place at the bottom of the celebrity pile with Snooki and the situation. One thing. I said greed is root. Capitalism you, is you, based you upon greed. You Donald Trump's greed. You say I greed equals I capitalism. Said, you I say said, it's the same word. I said Donald, I agree with Donald Trump's <laughs> capitalism. That's what I said. Michael Ferris, thank business, you, Vera. Let me ask you a question. Do you no, work for free? Do done. you work for free? We're done. Are you working here for we're free? We're done. Then you agree greed with Greed is not a sin. You agree with man. Do you want a more, do you want a bigger paycheck? Do you think you're paid enough? We're going to have to stop. Yeah, we do. Daryl Scott, Michael Ferris, thank you. I am not a progressive. I am not a liberal who's so afraid of the word that I had to change my name to progressive. I'm not either. Oh, Liberals my. amuse me. I am a socialist. I live to the extreme <laughs> left. Great. The extreme left of you mere liberals. Okay. And I don't want to be in a story about Donald Trump. I want to cover this campaign. Uh, Maria Tracer, he, uh, he is never going to file candidacy papers and he's never going to make it to a debate stage. Uh, and I'm not sure when everyone else is going to give up on this, but, um, well, but you know, I, you know it, it's yeah. always fun. He makes it fun. I got to give him that. It just fucking sucks. It fucking sucks to be out here with this out of control shit.
Well, um, I have, I I have Trump never been to be wrong the about stage. Donald Trump the politician, <laughs> so my perfect record on Donald Trump the politician I think will be intact at this hour tomorrow night. Uh, You're doubling down, Lawrence? You're doubling yeah, yeah. down? <laughs> let's, uh, let's move on to the real candidates who actually will be on the debate stage, uh, like Jeb Bush. It just fucking sucks. My perfect record on Donald Trump, the politician, I think will be intact at this hour tomorrow night. The non-candidate Donald Trump, who will never be a candidate. Who would you never vote for? Never, 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 ever vote for. 59% would never, ever, ever vote for Donald Trump. The next one down from that, 37% would not vote uh, for Chris Christie. Donald Trump knows how to read that poll. It just fucking sucks. Donald Trump cannot afford to sue me. And he knows it. And now for a few words about Donald Trump. I like him. I know how shocking that sounds to faithful viewers of this program, so let me explain. When I was a kid, the first columnist I ever read was the Boston Globe's great George Frazier, who once said he never wanted to meet politicians because he was afraid he might like them, and then he couldn't write about them objectively. I understand what he meant. Here is the moment when I met Donald Trump just three months ago. Donald was making his grand entrance in the ballroom of the White House Correspondents' Dinner, and I was sitting alone at a table minding my own business. He spotted me, called my name, and watch what he did. He stretches out his hand for a handshake. That, he does that to a guy who savaged him four years ago when he was talking about running for president. I bothered him so much back then that he threatened to sue me, but he didn't care about any of that when he saw me. He just wanted to shake my hand and wish me well. America is crying tonight. I'm not sure how much of America, but a very, very significant portion, and I mean literally crying. Yes. It just fucking sucks. It fucking sucks to be out here with this out of control shit.